Hi, welcome to this Rapid TV News video. I'm Joe O'Halloran, Editor-in-Chief, and I'm here with Joe Nice Engwell, CEO of Bedrock Streaming. So Joe, you guys actually undertook a massive reorganization right in the middle of COVID. So tell us what that actually meant. Yeah, basically we um, went into COVID. I mean, the company's been around since 2008, but uh, the structure we have today and the name Bedrock uh, was done uh, literally April uh, in 2020. So that's just going into COVID. Uh, we were at the time roughly 200 people and during COVID we, we doubled the size of the company so we're more than 400 now which was obviously an interesting uh, experience. We, we did all the interviews uh, naturally virtually. Uh, we sent computers to people's homes. Uh, it was, uh, it was uh, logistically it was an interesting challenge but it worked out and, and, uh, and it was quite interesting the year after when we started to coming back to the office. Mm -hmm to meet people kind of for the first time. It was an interesting uh, get together. <laughs> but as you say, the industry almost came to you. In that time <laughs> since 2000, we've had the fast industry, the AVOD industry, yeah. direct to consumer everywhere. Yeah. But good timing? Uh, very good timing. I mean, we were obviously, what we do is all about streaming. Uh, our company is fully geared towards streaming. We're passionate about it. And of course, during COVID, everyone turned to streaming. Streaming went through the roof in terms of usage. And I think everyone in the industry, if there were any skeptics left, I think they, they, were, they were convinced. So yeah, so definitely the industry kind of kept or, or caught up with our ambitions and our, our vision around streaming. Well, you've communicated that vision to customers like M6 Group, Celto, RTL, Julie. What how did they change over the, over the last couple of years? What and how, did, what they've asked of you about their budgeting and priorities? I think, uh, I think the requests uh, are similar. It's just that the focus shifted, right? Now it was, now it's streaming is so uh, top of the agenda and everyone is, is rushing to, to evolve their streaming strategy and platform and and you know, I would say now those who started and had some kind of an AWOD presence, they quickly wanted to add and also have SVOD. And we're kind of ending up with uh, what we talk about as hybridity or hybrid. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a platform that you know, basically caters to all different users. Uh, so yeah, so that's what we see now, basically. Given all that, and as you say, given hybridity, how are we seeing this at IBC 2022 in terms of products? Um, well, I think, uh, I guess, going into IBC, there's been plenty of news. Um, uh, big guys like Netflix, and, uh, and I mean, the, the, the very SVOD uh, players are all going into AVOD and, and, and uh, basically adding advertising. So. I think that everyone going to IBC had that in the back of their minds, that this is where we're going towards. So I see that uh, well, pretty much in the market everywhere. And in terms of what Bedrock are offering at IBC, how are you addressing those needs? So we're lucky, right? We've been doing AVOD, SVOD for a long time. We have different clients, and even though they're kind of converging now in the middle, they've come from AVOD or come from SVOD, so we're familiar with, with all these concepts, we're familiar with the business models. We have an extremely broad variety of content, uh, VOD content, linear, live, sports. So for us, it's, it's quite, um, quite good. Obviously, it's a never-ending, uh, uh, let's say, chase to improve. We're constantly making the platform better, we're constantly making uh, hybrid work even better for the customer, work even better for the clients, being even more flexible, uh, etc. Good to be back? Good to be back, very nice. It's, uh, you know, it's tiring to have virtual meetings all the time, so yeah, meeting people in, in person is, is, a, is a blessing. Real people, real products. <laughs> real people, real products, yeah. So fin um, finally, maybe unfairly, given there's been so much change in your history, let's do a bit of predictions. What's going to happen in like 12 months to see? <clears throat> um, I, think, um, I think that you will see more advertising coming in, as we talked about. 
I think there will be lots more pressure on those players from the advertising community to, to really uh, step up their game because advertising is quite complex with measurements and, and really... Uh, so I think that's going to be uh, continue. Um, I think the hybridity that we talked about will continue. I think uh, not all users are the same. We in the industry talk a lot about uh, personalization and I think having a hybrid platform is, 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 is exactly that. You know, you're catering to different customer segments in different ways. So I think we will continue seeing that trend. And then um, I think uh, just uh, more streaming. I mean, every, everybody's streaming, so more streaming. Good for everyone. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me.